Hey guys, what is up? Quad State Cameras here. February 28th, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Something like that. 42 degrees, I'm chilling, I'm doing these uh, videos. I went on a road trip, in case you were wondering where I was at. And that's kind of how I like relax. I like driving around, seeing stuff. Seeing mountains, hills, um, seeing crazy stuff sometimes, occasionally. You go down in the south, you'll see, you'll see some crazy shit. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to put this video out. I'm kind of running against the clock. A lot has happened. It's like you took a couple days off, especially with this what the hail stuff. And you missed like two days and, and you got to scramble to catch up again. So what has happened? Okay, so if anyone caught the the uh, live that was on Sunday, okay, you can see there was a, there was a lot that happened in that in that video. All right. I did want to uh, uh, basically respond to this question, though. I was asked a question. Let me let me get over to it. Hey, I was on my recliner, but I had to get into the office chair to sit in front of my desk and read this. Okay, so here's a uh, a comment from Bet Pat Patton thirty eight forty. Okay, and and I'm not going to get into the to the to the uh, misspellings and and all the things. I think I can kind of figure out what she was saying here. At least most of it. Okay, we'll get into it. Here's what she wrote. I think it's a sheep because no, well, maybe I don't even know now. Bet Pat Patton. I I don't know whoever whoever this was. They them. One really wonders if Russ the Sus, former mayor of Otter Creek, have anything to do with the bomb scare. He likes to think he runs Levy County and it's his own fifth. Him to do as he wants. I'm not really sure what this person meant there. His own fifth to do as he. Wants. Sure would be nice if somebody could sniff around and check if they can find the truth on that one. Well, if they watched my video, they can see that I did prove that. I made a phone call to uh, the sheriff. The sheriff admitted that there was a bomb scare. And it was basically based on an email that was sent to uh, like all the courthouses. I guess there were eight courthouses. If you watch the video, he he I, he explains it. All right, so that's... that's uh, so that that's already been uh, proven. It wasn't Russ. I think I think if Russ tried something like that, he would have been caught right away because he doesn't look like he's too keen on how things work these days. All right, here's a, the rest of it. Have you checked out her de deposition? Well, the person doing the deposition asked like that, "When did your mother die?" And she hits the ceiling. My mother never died. She wants it both ways. What a creepy lady. Oh, yeah. She lives in the thing. Okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. I actually looked her up. I took that challenge and I looked up Lynette to see if her mom actually did die. The first thing I did was look up that thing I got. Now, my background is I used to find people. I work. I find, I find people that do not want to be found. That's what I do. Uh, I went from that. To uh, basically going into security now. I work with. Okay. I basically are, am able to prove that the person I am talking to on the phone. Is the actual person that they claim that they are. That's what I do for a living. That's my full time job. All right. By the way, I was on vacation this week. That's why I took that road trip. And occasionally I need that because uh, it's just something I do. Just to kind of throw that out there. So I what I did was I looked up I looked up Lynette, looked up her information. It's all public information. I'm not breaking any laws or invading any invading any privacy. I found two women that are hit that are connected to her that would be the age or would have been the age had they lived where they would have been able to physically able to give birth to her she's in her early 60s these women had they lived to their full age or the if they were living today they would be in their in their mid to late 80s and i had i did not find her on there i found i found obituaries and i did not find any connection to lynette or any of her names that were on there I did find that there one of them had a son named Michael. I had to look because I thought maybe there was something there. Maybe she was going with Michael instead of Michelle. 
Um, the most recent one died twenty back in twenty seventeen, and I think we were starting on that thing where where Michael Michelle, you know, where it's twenty twenty four now. You don't really question what people claim that they are anymore. Okay, but still, I I haven't found anything that uh I could, I was not able to confirm if either of these two women gave birth to Lina. Now, with that said, if if she truly is uh ostracized from her family it is possible that they did not even include her in the obituary if she's that hated by her family it's possible that they did not um want her there okay so you have to uh you have to consider that too i guess we we may never find out until this goes further probably at the end jeremy may release some of that information and we can kind of go from there all right, so hope that helps. Oh yeah, and the the she lives in the thing. I did catch that too. I think he brought that up in the video where he released that part of it. Um, she didn't want to admit that she lived in a in a house because that might have uh that might have bit her later on. All right, now to the purpose of of this video. So long story short, we see that George arrived at the town hall saw that the John Crook Lynette Jeep was parked over there. Uh, Lynette, I guess she got there early, made a video of her that she was there to document that she was there, called the police, they saw the video, and they uh, and they basically let it be. Okay, so she shows up. Here comes, here comes George, driving up to the thing in her Jeep. She parks across the street, supposedly is afraid of John crook but then again to her credit she did have some people with her so that might have made her feel better okay and then uh and basically insisting that they enforce the order and they claim they can't find the order jeremy and george say that they talked to a detective and he was able to find it they want him to put it in there in a way where they could easily find it i don't think that they're ever going to find it there's one thing that they probably don't know about police. If police don't want to enforce it, they are going to figure out a way to not to enforce it. All right. He's already have a, a thing because he's got a case against uh, uh, Amanda Martin's son. Okay. Her, uh, that kid's stepfather is a Levy County Sheriff. They don't, uh, I think they're going to, they're, they're going to basically avoid it i'm pretty sure they know where he's at he's probably still living at home or they probably happen to know where he is they're just not picking him up okay and as far and as far as the uh officer that responded to the whole incident when jeremy got the tea thrown on him that officer is told to be nice to jeremy it's not a whole thing of uh of you know that he that he was very professional he was told to play that to play that game and play nice because keep in mind that's officer Wrote him a ticket for Windows, a ticket that I would never have paid if I was in that situation. It's a hundred bucks, I know, and it's probably not worth his time for the hundred bucks. But the way they learn, the way these these this vermin does things, if they write you a ticket, they'll write another one. All right, and then may, maybe they did find out later. But then are they are they giving him his hundred dollars back? I doubt it. All right, so that's where we're at on that. That basically, so far in that battle. It looks to me that John Crook and Lynette Preston won because when they were finally told to leave, they were they were leaving anyway. On your screen now is Thomas Collins. He's on the YouTube channel Living the Country Life with, John, with Thomas Collins. The picture you see here, I guess that's Dead Dog Road in Otter Creek. That was the whole thing with that road that supposedly Lynette was throwing dirty diapers in there. Um... And that there's probably some other activity going on over there as well. All right, so his thing is, I don't know what happened. There was some type of a beef that happened with him and Jeremy. I've never seen a video on it. They, um, he actually went on record, Thomas, on one of his videos and stated that he was never, uh, that he never disrespected George. I think that's what he said in one of his videos. You can look on his channel and see. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened there. He told his side of the story. He should have had it videotaped. For some reason, when you, when you have a body cam like I do, 
Everyone is so polite to each other. He, in this world, and at least in the society we live in, if, if it's not on camera, it didn't happen. All right. So basically what you saw, you saw that uh, Jeremy didn't show up. George was too afraid to go in. Thomas Collins went in. Not only did he go in, but George has been calling him Biscuit Boy. All right. So he had a shirt that was misspelled, I guess. It said Biscuit Boy. He was embracing that. And he got in there and he recorded it, put his video out. His video was like one of the, well, I guess there, there was like a lot of people recording there. But usually in the past, it was his video that you would see the, the first um, uninterrupted video on there. Basically just a straight raw shoot of the, the, the uh, town hall meeting over there. Now, some people say that he should not be, Jeremy especially, that he should not be going over there to record. I say, why not? So what? I'm in a suburb of Chicago. I'm also in Indiana. That doesn't mean that I can't go to see stuff that happens in Chicago and record over there. The other thing that uh that I wanted some help on this, if someone can tell me supposedly that Jeremy is going after Thomas Collins, I'm not sure why. There's some law that he says he broke. I cannot find that law basically stating that uh that you can't stand on someone else's property and uh and record someone. That's on public property. He was basically on someone else's property and recorded Jeremy that was on public property. And they said that he was creeping behind the bushes. Thomas also put a video on that showing that he did not, that he was not creeping behind the bushes. That was actually his friend's house. And he was actually literally standing like right by the kind of like the front of the house. I think he said there's a fire pit there in front and that's where he was standing by. Here, let me show you this video that I got. Video that I shot. That basically was the Google Street View that shows that the bushes that they claimed he was hiding behind was actually the bushes that were kind of on the perimeter of that friend's property that he has. So yeah, there were bushes between him and the fence and Jeremy and George on the village side, village, village hall, town hall, whatever you call that. And it just happened to be that there was bushes between them. He was not hiding behind bushes recording him. With that said, if there is such a law in Florida that says that you cannot stand on someone else's property, even if you're a guest of the owner of that property, and film someone that is on public property, is there a law that states that, uh, that that is illegal? If you can help me out with that, and find the code. I'm looking for the for the criminal code on it, the Florida criminal code, because I have not found it. So if you can find it with me, I that would be appreciated. Put it in the comments. Let me know. Now we're talking about the live that happened last Sunday, which is no longer available. There was some things that was said. I'm sure that he uh, was just uh, off the cuff. Well, he um, stated. Some people said they, they saw her wiping tears away. I didn't see that. I don't think the video is up right now. He probably made it private. Um, he said he didn't trust her. I remember that. I think he was saying something about the, the stress that she causes him. She's trying to say the devil does it. And he said, no, you can't blame. Something along the lines, you can't blame the devil for, you know, you just got to take, you just got to own that. If that's you, like she causes him stress and I'm not sure what was happening there. I think he's just under a lot right now. I'm hoping that uh, they work through it. Looks like they are. They've, they've made other videos. They've done some other stuff since then. Okay, what do I think will happen? I think that John Crook and Lynette are not going to go to Ohio on their, on their own. I also think... That uh, based on what I kind of my limited knowledge, and again, I'm not an attorney of how Florida works, that they are not going to honor a uh, a warrant for a misdemeanor, which so far this is, unless it has escalated into a felony. If they get multiple attempts, if they keep breaking stuff, it probably would get upgraded to a felony. On top of that, the 501c3 C uh, law she's breaking and many other things if they, if they can prove like drug use if she's lying on stuff all that all that other stuff it would just kind of uh 
I guess they'll, they'll happen. So it might not happen in this case, but it'll happen with everything combined. Um, is Jeremy going to get his $80,000 back? I doubt it. I don't think so. I don't think they have 80000 I think that even if they could get it, they, well, I think they're on fixed incomes. I'm pretty sure that that's not touchable. And even if it was, Florida is a bankruptcy capital. A lot of people go to Florida because the, the bankruptcy laws are just really favorable towards the people filing the bankruptcy. And you can they can simply file it. He gets a judgment, so what? They file a judgment on it, and that's it. But we'll see what happens. Quad State Cameras, like, subscribe, comment. Please let me know what you think. You can call me an a-hole. You can tell me you uh, you like the videos. You can tell me you don't like the videos. Tell me how I can do better. <clears throat> um, I went on a road trip. I'm going to be releasing some of those videos. And I hope that you give those a, a look at a view as well. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.